morning, everybody. We're just getting the day started here. It's pouring out, which it did all last night, and it's gonna do it multiple times throughout the week. It's officially spring weather, April showers. Better bring our May flowers, because we're getting lots of April showers. But today we have Easter round one. We're going to my sister's house. My parents are away for the weekend. So we're gonna have Easter number one with my siblings tonight, and then tomorrow we'll have Easter day two with my in-laws and Ray's side of the family. And of the only things I wanna get done and accomplished before we head to my sister's is I want to take a shower and style my hair. I want to reapply myself tanner because I am, once again, pretty pale. And I want to get Maverick a nap, hopefully. And we're actually going to try to recreate a picture we took of Maverick and my nephew Jackson last year. They're only three months apart, and last year we had a really cute picture of them. So we want to try to recreate it. It should be interesting, especially considering um, they can both run now. So it should be interesting to figure it out. Why are you making faces? Hi. I'm gonna finish up my coffee here and then I'm gonna take my shower, all that jazz. apologize the lighting in here is awful so I'm finishing up getting ready to go to my sister's and while I'm doing this I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I talked a couple vlogs ago about how I started the lose it app which is a calorie counter if you guys didn't see that and I'm officially two weeks in I had mine set for losing one pound a week so basically if you don't know all it pretty much does is it counts your calories you put in your weight your height your age all that and you put like what your goal weight is how many pounds you want to lose a week and obviously you want to go with the most realistic goal with that because the slower you lose it the easier it is to maintain also if you're looking to lose like five pounds a week especially if you're someone like me and only have like 15 20 pounds to lose it's not realistic and it's not safe and it's not healthy so i wouldn't recommend that so anyway i had it set for losing one pound a week and saturdays are my way in because that's when i started and two weeks ago i'm gonna be real raw and honest with you guys i wasn't gonna put the number out there but i might as well just do it when i started all right first of all i want to say when i was finally able to walk again after my surgery i was 156 pounds because i was idle for so long and unable to move i did gain some weight so i started out 156 pounds when i was able to be up and moving around again i didn't change how i ate but i was moving again and i initially lost five pounds in like two weeks so when i started this i was at 151 so like I said, that was two weeks ago. Last week, I lost two pounds. And again, I as well am not logging my exercise, my daily activity, all that stuff comes into play. You're obviously burning calories every single day. So unless you track that, then you have a more um, accurate kind of tracking system. But I'm not really worried about that. As a matter of fact, it's actually pretty cool to have a little bit of a surprise to lose more than a pound a week. But I have lost two pounds in one week and two pounds the next week. So I am down four pounds right wait four three pounds i'm sorry three pounds that is based off of just what i'm eating alone i'm out of the 150s i'm at 148 the fact alone that i've had results the fact that i'm losing weight is enough motivation for me so for instance i said to myself all this week because we are having two easter dinners i'm having one tonight like I said before, and then I'm having one tomorrow with my in-laws. I wasn't gonna track calories. I wasn't going to limit myself. I'm still not going to, but I'm not going to intentionally overeat. I'm going to eat to where I'm comfortable. I'm not going to stuff my face with desserts at the end of the night, and I'm going to track it. And as a matter of fact, I have not eaten today. I'm fasting for this Easter dinner because I do wanna be able to enjoy the food on the holidays considering i'm just really happy to be seeing results i do still just want to be smart and not kind of backtrack myself because as i'm not going to say easy but as seemingly easy as it was to lose three pounds in two weeks it'll be just as easy to put it back on if i just fall off the wagon that was just exciting to um to wake up and see that and that was after i drank my cup of coffee too because i forgot to weigh myself before i drank my coffee anyway i just wanted to give you guys an update just to kind of show you because i couldn't when i spoke about it that it actually works because I was literally just starting that day. But I am two weeks in, 
fully dedicated and losing weight. So highly recommend the app if you're looking to lose some pounds and you don't have the means or ability to put in a lot of exercise. Gives me something to be accountable for. I think that's one thing as well that is keeping me doing it is because I have to be accountable because by the end of the night, if I don't click that button that says finish logging and I'm not under my calories, I feel a little defeated. So it just feels good to have that to track and to kind of be committed. It, it, it gives me a little bit of reassurance of myself. So just want to give you guys an update on that. Maverick is napping. I have literally 35 minutes to finish getting ready, wake him up and for us to be out the door. And before I go as well, I want to show you guys the dish that I made to bring to my sisters. And I'm also, I also made one for tomorrow too. It's become a fan favorite <laughs> at the holidays that I make. And I actually did it differently this time and I think it came out better. So, but I want to share that with you guys. Really good recipe and a really good way to get kids to eat broccoli. 20 minutes later. So Maverick's looking very springy. Let me see you, baby. Wow. You look so handsome. You want to see that handsome man? <gasps> Woo! He's handsome, isn't he? Isn't he handsome? Yes. No, that's not Jackson. That's Maverick. Yes. Maverick. Bye. Maverick. <laughs> you saw Lucy in the back? The yeah. Maverick? He's so handsome. If you guys saw my Easter basket video, he is not wearing his Easter clothes because that is for tomorrow's Easter dinner. While I'm waiting on Ray to decide what he's wearing, I'll show you guys the dish I was talking about. This, if you can see, you see mostly biscuits. Delicious. And what that is, I lay down some frozen broccoli. You could use fresh, whatever. I just put frozen broccoli down. Then I make a cheese sauce. And I make it like with making a roux with the butter and the flour. And then I slowly add in half and half and stir it until it gets thick. And then I add some salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then I added four different kinds of cheeses, whatever cheese you want. Put that over the broccoli. And then the biscuits on top here are the... Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits, which you can buy in the box to make at pretty much any local grocery store with the Cheddar Bay seasoning over top. Guys, fantastic. And Maverick did eat this on Thanksgiving, so I'm waiting to see if he will today. I know it's not the healthiest way to get your kids to eat vegetables, but the vegetable is in there, and if they eat it, it's good. And while we're still waiting for Ray, I'll show you what my outfit is. These are pants that I got from Target. Absolutely love these. They kind of look like a skirt if you stand together because they're so like belled out and they're fancy. They have a little tie here. There's little fancy looking pockets in the back. Actually, they're, not, they're fake pockets, but there's real pockets in the front here. And then I have this white shirt that I actually got at a thrift store. Really fancy white high neckline that I love. Low sleeves that I love. Oh my goodness gracious, you okay? Oh, what's the matter? You want to go see Jackson and Kian? <laughs> okay. And I'm just wearing this very simple, very like classic looking gold necklace. And then I just have my Old Navy tried and true slip-ons on because it's going to be a little bit casual. My pants are going to be soaked because the ground is soaking wet. Didn't think that through. But Hi, poopies. Hi, Jace. Hi, Marley. The gentle giant. Don't you jump. Don't you jump, did the boys, did the boys. Hi, Jackson! We got the swing set. Yes! Awesome! Kids will have a swing set to play on when they come over. Chuck. Stop getting off the couch. You're moving along the couch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi. Say hi, this is Joy. Hi. This is Chinny. Look, you can see yourself. Show them where that blue one is over there. Go find it. Go ahead. Go find the other egg. Good job.
Come on, buddy, over here. Good play. Thank you, Mason. That was so nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Here. 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 Look at me. Good job, Maverick. Look. Look right there. Look. Look right there. Put it in the bag. Jackson, Jackson, come here. Over here. Good job. Say thank you. There you go. Look, there's more eggs over there. Here, right here. Come on. Come on. I got the golden egg. Oh. Wow. Oh. You keep that for you. Good job. Special. Special. <laughs> Look at the purple one. Purple. Yeah. Good job. Purple. Go put it in your bag. Come here, Mamma. Jackson, go put it in the bag. With mommy. With mommy. Put in your bag. Good job, boys! Good job. Yay! Yeah. Maverick's like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <Yeah. laughs> what did the bunny bring? Open it. Jackson. <gasps> Look, there's a bunny in there. <gasps> what else is in there? Wow, shoes. Look at <gasps> Wow, what's that? Gummies. I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> What's that? Egg? Ooh, SpongeBob cookies! Wow! Lollipops? Do you want a lollipop? Sure. Ooh. Yummy. Oh my god, I like the memes. Whoa, look at this basket. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> What else is in there, buddy? Yeah. Wow, garden tools! <laughs> you can help daddy in the garden! Oh yeah! Alright, what else? Keep looking! What's up? Yeah, what's in there? Keep looking! What else is in there? <laughs> Lottery tickets! It's so expensive! <laughs> Squishy, squishy ball. Push it. Yeah, it's. Pussy, give me that. No.
Maverick, look at this. These are just too adorable. Whoa, what is that? You want that open or what? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What's that? Whoa. Look at here, Maverick, what's this? What's that, buddy? <laughs> He's so excited. I know. <laughs> wow. Maverick, you got, you got a couple more things here. You got lots of bubbles this Easter, huh? Bubble? Uh oh. Uh. I don't know, these bubbles suck. Did you get so much stuff from the Easter Bunny? Huh? Bubble? Yeah, you got lots of bubbles. Lots of treats. Hello everybody, just here to pretty much sign off. Only thing that was really missed from yesterday was another Easter egg hunt with a handful of new kids. I had the pleasure of hiding all the eggs in my in-laws giant yard, so that was fun. Thought it was a little redundant to keep recording stuff like that, so. Maverick got six Easter baskets, six. There's a lot of candy that's going to be put away because just a lot. Thankfully everybody was actually pretty good about what they got him as far as treats and stuff. Nobody went overboard or anything like that and he got a lot of new activities, a lot of bubbles, a lot of things to draw and create with and just some really really cute stuff. I'm so thankful for everybody who um, went out of their way for him. This was a great Easter weekend. I was actually very happy because I got to see my parents last night too. They got home from camping and they're only right down the road so they were home and we got to see them and they gave Maverick his Easter basket so all in all, it was a very successful holiday weekend. I got to see all the family. I feel extremely blessed and thankful and very satisfied as far as my belly because dinner, two nights in a row, Easter dinner was delicious. So anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all had a very blessed Easter and a great weekend with family if you celebrate. Um, if not, I hope you had a great weekend anyway. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And I hope you're all having the greatest day or night or afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.